Welcome back guys. In this part we are going to explore linear regression. Linear regression is a statistical model used to predict the relationship between independent and dependent variable. As you can see in x axis we have independent variable and in y axis we have dependent variable. And the line between the data point is regression line. So let's see how the linear regression works. First let's see a regression equation. The simplest form of a simple linear regression equation with one dependent and one independent variable is represented as y is equals to mx plus c. So as you can see from the graph y is the y is the dependent variable x is the independent variable m is the slope of the line and c is the coefficient of the line. So now let's see how we are going to use linear regression. So the example will be sales estimation of a company. Suppose your company have data of previous 10 years about your sales. So how we are going to predict our sales in the next year for certain amount of investment on advertisement. Suppose we have company and we are going to advertise on TV, radio and newspaper. Now our work is to predict how much sales we are going to gain by advertising on these medias. This is the best uh, use case to learn. So next uh, let's see how this is going to be happen. For simplicity, let's consider the single variable that is television and find out how much sales the company will get. So now our goal is changed to calculate how much sale our company will get by advertising certain amount in television. So first what we are going to do, we are going to predict the plot between television and sales from the previous data. After um, plotting the graph, we are going to find the best fit regression line between television and sales data points. After getting the line, we can predict that black point on the y axis is the amount of sales the company can expect from the amount of investment on television ads represented by white point. As you can see the white point is the amount of investment and the black point is the predicted sales. This is how we can predict the future scopes or uh, the next data. Okay? This is how we are going to use linear regression. Now let's see how Linear regression is working, the intuition behind the regression line. Let's consider a simple data set with 5 rows and find out how to draw the regression line. We have a data set of x and y. Now we are going to plot the data set into a graph. After that, the next step will be calculating the m and c values. By using the formula, we have calculated the m and c. m is 0 0.6 and c is 2.2. We are going to apply m and c value for each the data point and get our y prediction value. Okay, so y is equals to m into x plus c. This is this is how we are going to calculate our y prediction value. After calculating y prediction value, the distance between the actual and the predicted value are known as residual error. The best fit line should have the least sum of square of these errors, also known as e square error. Now let's see how we are going to calculate these errors. So first we are going to calculate y prediction. After calculating y predi prediction, we are going to subtract y prediction from y and we are going to take the square of that. The sum of square errors of this regression line is 2.4. We check the error for each line and conclude that the best fit line having the least amount of e square error. Now the question arises, how we are going to get the best fit line? We keep moving this line through the data points to make sure the base fit line has the least square of distance between them and the data points. Next multiple linear regression. Multiple linear regression is similar to linear regression with the variation is here there will be number of magnitudes and the mag number of number of independent variables. Now let's come to our project to calculate the sale of our company. Okay. The first part will be importing the libraries. Let's, let's first import the library. Okay. Next, we, what we are going to do, we are going to read the data, previous data. Okay. The data is in CSV format. So I am using pandas to read CSV. Okay. So let's execute the CSV part and data.head will give us the five, uh, first five rows of the data. As you can see, our data have TV, radio, newspaper and ex respected 
cells okay so after that we are going to execute initialize the data for x and y variable we are going to use simple linear regression as discussed first in x axis we are going to use tv uh, the data from tv and we are going to use the y value as cells and we are going to plot the graph okay so let's plot the graph okay this is the graph of x and y value this is the real time real time graph of the uh, x and y value from the data set okay after that what we are going to do this is the data set after that what we are going to do we are going to give it to a train test split okay so now question arises why we are going to perform train test split okay as you know after training we have to test our model to get the accuracy of the model for that we are going to divide our complete data set to training data set and test data set we have given the size as 0.2 that will be 80 percent will be training data set and 20 percent will be test data set okay so let's split our data set with to train and test okay after that we are going to create our model as you know as you can see we, i have imported linear regression and i have instantiate linear regression then i have model that fit okay so after after executing this line of code i get the output at linear regression okay this is the linear regression execution uh, output okay after that we are going to test our model okay predicting the test result okay so this is our linear regression line this is the best fit line as uh, our uh, algorithm is uh, well known to get the best fit line so this get the linear regression line through our data points okay after that we are going to see how what is the coefficient okay the coefficient is 4.65 and the intercept will be 711 okay so we have calculated the coefficient the intercept okay intercept okay c and m value okay so now our work is to calculate r square value okay so our r2 score r square value is 0.67 percent okay so now let's test for a complete a new data okay so we have we have given the input as 430.1 that is the input for television advertisement and we will get a sales of 7 1782 rupees okay this is how we are going to we have created a complete new linear regression model which will calculate the amount of sale you will get by giving the input as the amount of investment we will do in television okay so let's see multiple linear regression in multiple linear regression we are going to use all the three parameters and we are going to get our estimated sales okay so similar to that let's define the x in our data set as you can see in our data we have tv radio newspaper and sales okay so first what we are going to do we are going to first in our x we are going to uh, take the three parameters and in y axis we are going to take the parameter of sales okay so let's execute this cell after that we are going to do the train test split so let's execute let's split the data set into train and test after that we have instantiated the linear regression and we have to fit the model after fitting we have get the output message okay after that let's predict on test data set and we have calculated the coefficient of 3 that is m1 m2 and m3 and the intercept as 297 okay so after that we are going to calculate the r squared value okay so let's calculate the r squared value our r squared value is 89 0.89 that is 89 percent okay so let we uh, now let test our model okay so i have uh, this uh, cell will test our code so enter the amount you will invest on tv suppose we are going to invest 100 rupees on tv 100 rupees on radio and 100 rupees on newspaper then the output you will get a 2664 sales by advertising this much amount on after all the things we are going to save this model because we are going to use this model in future okay so in future after saving the model we are not going to execute this bunch of codes because 
this bunch of code have created a model now it's our work to save the model so let's execute this code to save the model the model will be saved on a path model slash multiple rec dot save okay so this is how we are going to execute our code and get the output and the model is in output session okay so after saving the model we are going we will use the model okay so let's see how we are going to use the model i have created a gui for that okay let's execute all the codes first uh, i have used tinker here kinter over here i have used kinter here okay if you don't know kinter i will surely upload a kinter tutorial in future so let's import kinter second is we are going to load the model okay our model is models in model folder multiple rig dot save okay so read that model okay i have read then i am going to uh, define the calculate cell method that is going to represent uh, that is going to calculate the cell with respect to the respective data is data now uh, next we are going to initialize the kinter window then we have uh, initialized the three levels and finally we have loops okay this is the gui these are the codes to get this gui okay so this will be you you are going to learn this on kinter tutorials okay so this is our output and it is telling the expected sales suppose our company is going to invest 670 rupees on tv 589 rupees on radio and 822 rupees in newspaper the expected sale will be 14665.34 rupees so this is how we can also integrate our model to a real time project okay this is how it works okay no worry for the code all the codes will be on a, on the link below description box find all the links and stay tuned thank you